Moon earlier saying he just understands the game. That may have been a backcourt violation. Book night, his presence felt immediately, picked up a loose ball, goes streaking down the floor, and throws a beautiful alley-oop that gives UConn a seven-point lead. How about that? Welcome back to the big time. And just a little lob. He understands the game. This kid can play off the ball as well. Polly's been good. Senior averaging eight points per game. You like those deep shooters, don't you? <laughs> you can tell, huh? And a foul along the baseline. Polly. Oh, my goodness! Welcome <laughs> back, James Booknight! <laughs> you can book that, baby. Wow. He's back! Oh, With a vengeance. Nice, what a nice read. Here's Book Knight. What do you got, young fella? And it's poked away from behind by Gant. That saved the highlight. Yeah, he was ready to go. You think he's missed the action? Take oh. a look at this. Bring it all. How about the rearrangement? Not only the dunk, but the ability to catch, gather, complete it. Big time bang by number two. He had a 40-point ball game earlier this season back against Creighton in December. This guy can flat-out score. Book night. A little, a little up, up Step up back. Set they run. Both two. bigs for exactly. Providence and UConn with two fouls. Watson, who takes that shot, has got two fouls as well. Uh, he's trusting him now as an upperclassman. Oh, my goodness. Score the goal and a foul. James Booknight like he was shot out of a cannon. Had to slide by him. Just body search a little bit, but right in just that little cross. Gets the good angle. Gets the call from the official. Nice little start for him. Duke trying to offer it up, but just a little tad, a little bit. Booknight doing that against one of the best athletes in the conference in David Duke. He's panting a little right there. If you're Dan Hurley, how are you ever going to take this guy out of the lineup again? You finally get him back after a month and a half. Blocked by Whaley. Book night the trailer. Sneaks inside. Off the window. Score in and a foul. Again. Book night. Yep. How about this kid? He's having a <laughs> time of his life. And why not? He's the leader of the pack. Don't question a little pump to fight. A little blow by, and how about this? A sweet little kiss. Oof. When you play this kid, you can't be jumping and biting on pump fakes. You got to keep him in front of you. And Polly. Is that one, two, two? See if they'll take a quick jack, possibly. A little step back. Legs may be an issue. Book night a little bit short. Two fouls again. He just had to run a team. Experienced. Misses the front end of a one and one. He's all over. He can he can elevate there on Bynum. Book Knight swoops inside and score it. The reverse is good for James Book Knight. Josh Carlton into the game. First time we've seen Carlton didn't play uh, over the weekend against Xavier, but getting a little tick right now. And it works. Book Knight's been on the floor for a while. They haven't let him touch it. Now he's got it. And Book Knight is fouled by Gant. And he'll go to the free throw line. He's from Brooklyn, just a sophomore. Has been out since early January. The elbow is very important. <laughs> two for two for Book Knight. He and Tyrese Martin have been the story for UConn. Good thing if your Providence obviously can't take the bounce, but check out. So you get an opportunity at the other end. Here's the blow by. That's a nice bit of recovery there by Breed. He got a finger on it and blocked it away. It's going to be Providence basketball. And he's replaced by James Booknight. Providence still has the same five that began the game on the floor here to begin our second half. And a turnover as Booknight can't handle the pass. Defensively, they're rooting him out. He can go now. And another turnover. Booknight lost it on the pass. The rest, That's is that what right. you're suggesting? <laughs> Here's Book Knight. Turns the corner. Stays on the rim and just glides through. Soft. He's in games, and then you got the Big East tournament. And they don't want to step got, on a banana. They got James back, too, which really helps. And a little a lot to the post. They anticipate it. 
This is Book Knight, hands it off to Cole. Sophomore Book Knight. Little floater, made it look easy. Took the long route, gonna pay. Now here's the little zone look. This is dangerous, dribble between and find people. Cole, three ball! Wow, how about that for stretching the defense? This is Jackson on the floor for UConn. Greg Gant in the ball game for Providence. This is book night. And a foul over the back called on Josh Carlton. Carlton, extra look for UConn. Book night, so smooth. Oh my! The Velveteer! Well, you got a guy at six foot ten, looming large. This kid's just too clever. Got those hesitation moves, dribble control, agility at the rim. Pretty impressive debut. He's back. And the Husky fans are going to enjoy it. Big time finish. You too. Oh, my. Mm. The random. Nice little side to side by Connecticut. They really seem in sync right now. One and done. Book night to misfire. Croswell. Right place, right time. Greg Gant, and he'll go to the free throw line. Boy, they're showing some life right now. Providence attacking a little bit more. Slide rubs. Maybe Book night time right now. And a foul, and Book night hits the deck awkwardly. Uh, the show by Croswell got his hands in there. 21 at Croswell. Very good with the ball. Really sees things. Mm, knee on knee. Third on Croswell. Seventh team foul. Serious, he'd come out of the ball game. He wants the ball. <laughs> He's a scorer. Yeah. He's going to have to come out. Oh, that's not a good sign. And you know what? That's part of the layoff, I think. Don't you? I mean, these minutes here. Let's hope it's not a serious one, though. That hamstring. Ooh, look at that stretch on the leg. You see that at the end? Yeah. Throws for Providence. That was a tough catch, too, if the foul hadn't been called. It doesn't look as if Book Knight is that concerned. And he may be drinking some pickle juice right there. Yeah, some cramps. Sure was. Different attitude, different outlook. Confident. Watch out down the road. We've got some ability. So a week after losing against the Providence Friars, the Yukon Huskies come back and win by 12 on a Tuesday night against Providence. 73-61 is your final score.